USA Today oh, USA did the article. Yeah, yeah. About John Gruden. Raiders coach resigning for homophobic, misogynist, racist emails. Yes. And so if anyone uh you explain kind of if Basi anyone didn't just Okay, so basically the NFL, because they're like, you know, trying to redo their image, starting with the whole concussion thing and how they were hiding that people were getting like CTE and literally like players were killing themselves, like junior say out, like Shot. They forever lied, but you, they found something worse. They found something way worse, <laughs> way worse. But they're trying to redo their image or whatever because they were the league where like Ray Rice punches his girlfriend in the face, and like they suspend him for like a game. You know, like they were that league, and then all, all the anyway. So they were like, we're gonna do a ten year or I think it was twenty years. Every email that's been ever sent from an at NFL. Anybody who's in the NFL, they go. We're gonna go through. Every that's fucking some scary shit. Oh, uh, they're, they're like, we're going through every email that's sent from again, sent from a work address. I know like, you. Th there is a boomer component too, where it's like a lot of these people weren't email guys, and then you know, ten years ago. I mean, think about how long but, ago but, that but is. But some of the, like again, these emails were from when it was still okay for a player to punch his wife in the face, yeah, and not get kicked out of the league. No, but also I think so. You're like that should be some context where you go, yeah, he said this when you could punch your wife in the face <laughs> like right. and like that was a one game suspension yeah and gay marriage was illegal yeah gay marriage was illegal you like could the, the gay marriage thing they're like yeah it was illegal at the time yeah like obama and hillary <clears throat> clinton were against gay marriage you could punch your wife in the face in the nfl like all this stuff was fine they they didn't acknowledge that there was a concussion cte problem <laughs> That was from when these emails were sent. So, anyways, they're like, we know we're going to go through. All you got to be real careful with those corporate emails, man. But, but there was no thought of being no. Corporate but I think, now for sure. I think most people now know that you know that someone could eventually look through these emails. Yeah, like I most jobs, you kind of know you got to keep that email. But I think especially at the beginning, there wasn't. It was a little more like there is a saying oh, we're just chatting. where they like, say never say anything in an email you wouldn't want in the New York Times. And now it's like actually real life where you go, yeah, your emails are now getting in the New York Times. It is real life. And I've seen a lot of people because you never want to. It's let's hard just, to let's just, pray just debate our, our them. fucking group chats never get out. <laughs> Imagine like that's the next iteration You're of this. It's just done. personal group chats. Hey, we're just going to do a bit of an audit on every comedian's group chat. <laughs> you know, yeah, like, I would just kill myself. <laughs> It'd be like a child porn guy finding out that they're doing their come. It'd be like a child porn guy when they find out that they're going to his house and going through his hard drives and he just yeah, kills he himself. Kills himself. He goes, all right, that's, that was a good That's it. They go, we're going to go through every last group chat you ever had. Just a small formality for this job that you just took. We, and you go, oh, actually, you don't want the job. They go, we've already started. You go, oh, okay. Yeah, Where's the nearest bridge? We're going to be putting these public too, so hopefully it's nothing too bad. Just a there. small formality if you're wanting this. Uh, <laughs> That's such a funny thing to say to someone when you don't want them to have the job. Like you, you go, your company has to hire someone, but you really don't want to hire them. You go, yeah, just a small formality. Oh, if uh, we need to starting now, if you want to hand me your phone, we're gonna go through every <laughs> group chat you've ever taken. Just a tiny formality. We're just doing a bit of due diligence. You know, just do it. I mean, you have no, I mean, you have nothing to hide. I'm sure what's be the issue unless you said you? something racist on you your phone. <laughs> But it really is that where, you know, a lot of people, you end up debating what the original points. People are all, well, maybe you shouldn't have said this. I think you should. And you go, what percentage, honestly, of real world people do you think have something that they've said in like uh, email, text or anything like that where you go, I, I would feel uh, if this went out, I'd be fired? Uh 40 probably 60. something like that i'm honestly trying to think i don't really get aggressive in email i don't think i have anything like if you went through my gmail right now i don't think there'd be anything that i would be like nothing where you go oh, that guy's a fucking loser like, like maybe you know, someone loser. did something and you go Ugh, that guy stinks maybe like, maybe it's like something personal but nothing like where i'm i don't think i've ever done i think if you i don't think i've ever done a racism emails in, with in us maybe email. i think if you go back 10 years i think you'd be surprised yeah maybe not a racism thing but well the things they said well there's the things in the messages between two men gruden refers to good health as a clueless anti-football pussy. Yeah. You never said that anything the, like that? Like, were you, that's, well, that's so the, in passing. The funniest go, thing, oh, too, is, again, you go, he call, they go, he's a misogynist. <laughs> this was like, again, was like they clumped lower, it all lower on the list of bad things he did, apparently, or whatever, or not apparently, but like, for me, like, oh, this longtime football guy the most macho sport on earth is a misogynist because he <laughs> yeah. called Roger Goodell a pussy, right? And you're like, Again, he called him a pussy when you could punch your wife in the face. Right. And he goes, oh, it's, it's like it's Ray Rice punched his wife in the face unconscious. And he goes, it's Roger Goodell guy. He's a bit of a pussy, huh? How, 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 many, how did more people not get taken down in this? Well, so here's, here's what I 
so basically what happened is the um so he was talking shit about Roger Goodell, who is the fucking yeah yeah everyone the, hates Goodell. Uh, he was the whatever commissioner of the NFL, and a lot of people hate him. And then uh, a lot of people are saying Goodell was the one who leaked because these things leaked, right? It was an internal thing. That's, I forgot. So, so they talks, didn't leak anyone else. Goodell, fucking Goodell. You go. Doing. You talk shit about the fucking king. He leaks this stuff, and then he leaked the racist thing where he said something about the guy's got huge lips or whatever. This guy who's like part of the fucking NFL, something or other. He goes, he's got huge. This guy's got the biggest lips or something, or whatever. And then, and then they were like, he said, "Look, I'm not racist, and uh, I apologize. I'm, you know, anybody who knows me knows I'm not racist." And it was fine. They go, "Okay, he apologized. It was one thing." And then all, and then again talking all this shit about Goodell. So then he releases more stuff a week later being like, cause I guess maybe he thought the racism thing would get him kicked out of the NFL. He thought that was going to be enough. So but, you're, you're on the, on the tip that this is a Goodell conspiracy for sure. I, it sounds like it. I haven't done it, but it just logically. Goodell like, seems like such a dweeb. Oh, he's a total dweeb. But again, like, I don't know. This can't be the only thing for anybody that came out. Right. You, you did six, everyone has 650,000 emails and you're like the and only tons of employees. The only thing that came up was just uh, John call, Gruden one time calling called him. someone a pussy was on the top of the list of things that came out. You everyone know, else must be fucking a queer or whatever. It's sort of a put people in their place where it's put people back in line a little bit where everyone in the NFL's like it's almost um more about corruption than it is about, you know, any of this shit where it's kind of like, "Hey, just so you know, you know, this is what the people do when they get the like, sex tapes or whatever, right? Well, it's, it's like, like just so you know, you do anything. We have fucking 600 fucking... Compromat. It's the fucking... Yeah. Yeah, they got the stuff. They got they got some shit on you to end you. But anyways, I mean, again, it's hard to feel super bad for him. He has a $100 million contract, which is still going to be on. I don't feel super bad for him as much as... Well, I mean, it's... Sucks, but it's just... But I'm, the, my takeaway is not so much about this guy because it's like such a... This has happened so many times in the last little while. It's like people get fired right and left. It's more about just how fucking scary shit is. It is. But also, <laughs> here's the thing is these emails were sent. He wasn't even this guy's part on of the blacklist now. But he wasn't part of the NFL. He was he had been retired from the or not retired. He had been a coach to the NFL. He won a Super Bowl in two thousand two. He wasn't in the NFL. He was like a you know, a report not a reporter, like he was like a personality. He would go on yeah. shows or whatever. So he was talking shit about the commissioner when he was not an employee of the commissioner. Then he became a an employee of the commissioner after the fact they did this thing and then you're like the commissioner is like yeah you talk shit about me you're out like so it's like it's one like of i didn't work for you at the time i yeah. didn't work for you at the time and again with the whole like ray rice thing but the, I, I, that's what i think is goodell's just like you know what you're talking shit about me i'll show you what power is and <laughs> i saw i watched this soccer documentary about it was like the italian soccer I want, that's scandal. the juventus one and right yeah yeah so basically even that. the because they they show two sides of the thing where the one side is like you know this is ultimate corruption and the other guy is kind of like no this is what people did you fucking that was that's part of the game you call the fucking ref commissioner and you uh force him to give you the refs you want this is yeah. part of the fucking system but it really was they the refs would do the wrong thing and they would be kind of like you're fired and they would set the examples and the refs knew how they had to call it the people would have uh they would I mean, give dude, people that, yellow cards uh they were playing the fucking juventus the next day and they would give the star players cards to kick them out for the yeah, next yeah. game it was like totally corruption so but then it kind of i mean you know even flutters NBA, down to the social justice level where everyone gets to they get to get outraged now but really this is more of a corruption situation they just know that the thing that people care about to fucking get people fired is, the same reason why epstein gets people to fuck kids because he knows that fucking kids or racism is the only thing that can make you lose your job. So mm -hmm. they just know that now they have another, that's their main tool. The only, to thing, you the, lose the your only job. thing I'll say with Gruden is I don't think, I, I don't know in the internal stuff, but like, it doesn't sound like Goodell was looking for a reason to fire him. He just saw these emails and he's like, this guy's talking shit about me. And he's like, well, I'll show him. But like, you know, the NBA, remember the guy who, who fucking got arrested for and went to jail and the NBA ref Donahue for, he was uh, like basically fixing games in the NBA. He was a ref and he was like owed all this money to the mob. And he was he was fixing games for the mob in the NBA. He did this podcast recently, this series, and he talks about how like, you know, the NBA would straight up be like, you know, you like the NBA, all sports leagues, like they're just entertainment. They're a business. Like as much as you think they're these like sacred things, they're straight up just like businesses. That commissioner is the you know the head of this business, and they would straight up be like you know when Michael Jordan plays these stars, you like you you the refs are meant to like give these guys treatment because you're like you don't do 
better for the league by having these guys sitting on the bench. Yeah. Right? Like, you don't have as many highlights. Like, the game, everybody benefits when Michael Jordan is on the court fucking winning championships. Like, that's good for everybody. So, and they, you know, they would make that known. Be like, you know, you don't... Like, if a player is known to... A star player is known to, like, you know, have some sort of trick and then they start calling him on that as, like, a... you know, foul or whatever, they'll be like, okay, we're not going to call this foul this year. Like, they do that every year. They go, we're not calling this as much. We're going to call this more. Because it's still, like, at the end of the day, just, like, it's a ratings thing. Yeah, it is very corrupt, all of them. <laughs> but, yeah, the Gruden, the Gruden thing's weird. There's got to be a lot of people who are sweating, though, if that's That's what, what I'm yeah, saying. there must be. You really, if you're starting now, again, I... I, I don't I you can't even really go delete them because they're in everyone else's inbox. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. He couldn't. You delete cannot. Them. You got any work email correspondence? I really do think you have to live by that though, and you wouldn't want it in the New York Times because it will yeah. be. Yeah, agreed. And and but ten it's years probably ago, too nobody, late for everyone mostly. It though. is because nobody <laughs> thought that. Dude, you know how many ago. people? I mean, I'll even get from family members where they send me like some funny thing making fun of something. You know what I mean? Yeah. From the work email where you go. That that's enough right there. Yeah. Like oh. whatever, right? Yeah, for the sure. The equivalent of that. Some Someone me- sent some you from meme. their work email a meme of uh girls uh, puppies bouncing. <laughs> yeah, like a a gif or whatever, just puppies bouncing and you go, oh. Any internal audit. Yeah. Yeah, shit. But again, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. That's it sucks for fucking him. But 